he too would be invited to the Oval Office for a round of discussions with our president because Trump, despite what the fake news media spews forth, is also a prescient leader and can easily recognize greatness. Did any of us ever believe that the US, that any US president would have the courage to move the US embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem? <laughs> Did any of us ever believe that a US president would consistently stand up for Israel in the UN simply because simply because Israel represents truth and righteousness in the Middle East? Who would have believed that four years ago when Obama was in office? Did anyone in this room ever believe four years ago that a president would be elected who did not harbor a palatable animus towards Israel? Who would have believe that. I certainly didn't. If we look back on very recent history, we see that all commanders in chief wanted to pressure Israel into an agreement that would spell their demise. But we're not going to do that, and we're not going to let that happen, are we? Yet and still, the Jew is a vigilant character and knows that the political maelstroms that were immersed in ebb and flow at any given moment, the predicament that we face could change in an instant. I ask all of you here today, clearly you are people who care deeply about their brothers, about our brothers and sisters, and the state of Israel. People who have devoted their time to supporting Israel, to pay tribute to the great Jabotinsky, and all that he emulated by speaking out for your people at every turn. Please, everybody, let's do it. Today, the Democratic Party has taken a sharp and dangerous turn to the left. And its ranks are replete with Israel bashes and all stripes. Today, the purported resistance who work in contact with the fake news have attempted to distort our reality. Our younger generations, as Judy is now working on, our younger generations, our millennials, are buying into the narrative of lies and gross distortions. Just as Jabotinsky did, it is incumbent on all of us, on me and on all of you in this room, to speak the truth to power, the vanquish, the vanquish, the discord that the youth find themselves in, and to help lead yet another generation to tear glorious heritage, and let's do it, with the words of Jabotinsky reverberating in our hearts and in our minds. Thank you very much.